you know it's a good day when your plans are to smear this all over your hands. Hello, welcome. Today we are continuing my saga of swatching all of my single shadows and we are doing a really exciting bunch. Don't tell the others I said that, which is the iridescent shadows and light shimmers. So I'm so excited to do this because I know that these are really gorgeous and let's just switch over to my hands and get into it. I don't even know where to start with this. Most of the shadows on this side are just like the pretty light colored shimmers and then on, on that side are like the iridescent shadows. Also, I'm not sure if I said this already in the intro, but I did put some iridescent shadows with the color family that they flipped to just because I knew them well enough. So for example, like we're not going to swatch Space Baby from Terra Moons today because I have that with the blues and I have Phoenix with the oranges. These are kind of ones that I've used less and I feel like I have a lot of get to knowing of those iridescent shades. But that just makes this super exciting for me today. All right, I think I will start... I'm going to save the best for last kind of person. So I think I will start with these shadows that are, I mean, sparkly and gorgeous, but not iridescent. And in fact, I think I'm going to start with the ones that might be the most boring because I really love the more sparkly formula. And then I have some that I just think like are more of like a metallic or a shimmer and not like the sparkle. So let's see. This first one is Soft Gold from Anastasia. This is maybe the oldest single shadow in my collection if not one of the oldest definitely i bought this to use as an inner corner shade it has like a hell of a dip in it like i used it as an inner corner for so long but like i have so much more for inner corner nowadays and i'm going to declutter this all right starting off good and then i have two mini ColourPop ones i think these are both from the i think i love you palette i'm not positive this one's a little bit more gold and then this one's a little bit more champagne. So there's a slightly more gold one. And wait, that was the wrong finger. This is the slightly more champagne one. I think I might keep those for right now. Am I losing my mind? I'm going to keep those for right now, but we might have to re-swatch them at some point. I also feel like I flubbed that up by swatching the wrong thing. This next one is from Cleona. It's one of their circle shadows. It's the shade Soul. You know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to change my plans and I want to swatch these kind of towards the end because I feel like I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh, that's really pretty. I want to keep that. But like, I know that the other shadows in this palette are so much more amazing. Some days I can just like know that I know and stick with that. But I think today is the kind of day where I like I need to convince myself. So we're going to dive right into the good ones. Yeah, I said it. Change of plans. This first one now is up here. This one, I just painted my nails really recently. I also, I feel like I need iridescent nail polishes because I thought this one might be kind of like a more sheer shimmer. And it's just like a straight up chrome. This is from Color Club. It's really old, but yeah, I need iridescent nail polishes. So this is Electric Unicorn from Give Me Glow. Really beautiful, really beautiful formula. Like this is, this is what I need in my life. Oh my God. It has like that pink in it green and gold it's such like a vibrant formula like this this is what this palette is all about i think i just said the word this so many times in the last minute but this is what this palette is all about and these little shimmers down here are not what this palette's all about so we're going to keep this energy going this is shiggies from divina really pretty also this one's definitely flaky like i knocked i knocked a whole flake out while looking at it it's not as spectacular of a formula as Electric Unicorn, but that's okay. It's still really pretty and it has like a nice green glow. But in my view, I see a lot of pink to it as well. And that reminds me, I think I'm I think I'm missing one that should be in here. Voila! This is Marama from Davina. I think it's pretty similar to Shiggy's, but it's like twice the price, and I think it shows. That's really pretty. It is pretty similar to Shiggy's. I feel like Shiggy's is just like a more straightforward shadow and Marama's more like elusive. It's like, oh no, you're not wearing a crazy multichrome. Oh wait, no, you are. 
So I really like it. I feel like I kind of don't need, or not like I'm keeping both of them, but I feel like I didn't need to buy both of them, like if I knew this ahead of time. But I think that like if I remember <laughs> these in my collection, like they, they each have a unique purpose and that's, that's nice. I'm gonna put that one here so I don't accidentally declutter it. This next one, this is Mermaid Scales from Glaminatrix. This is another one that I feel like I just, I don't know anything about it. Like we've barely met. We saw each other in the hall once. We said hi, but we didn't get to chat yet. Oh, interesting. Looking at it, like it looks a little bit kind of like bubblegum pink in my eye. It is coming up cooler on camera, but I think it is like, more subtle like it's like it has that pretty sparkle but it's more subtle in that like it doesn't flip like a like a neon color you know oh i want to wear that all over my eyes i want to wear all of these all over my eyes let's look at these cleona shadows this one up here oh this is lux and i don't know a lot about it but i know that it's really pretty oh yeah i feel like i got overwhelmed with these cleona shadows just because they look so similar in the pan I mean, and just overwhelmed with my collection in general, that like these that you can't tell from looking at them in the pan what they do have like gotten so neglected. Look how, oh my God, I love that pink in it. And I love that yellow. Wow. I feel like also compared to the other ones, like it might just be the angle or something, but like it looks like it has more of a base. Like it looks like a pretty distinct rosy base with a really intense flip. That one's so pretty. After that, we have the shade Gilding. This one's definitely like chunkier. It almost comes up on my finger like a pressed glitter would. That's really pretty. It kind of reminds me a bit more of Phoenix. Like it has that kind of like yellowy tone to it, but Phoenix does like erupt into orange. And this one, I feel like the other color in it is more of like a green because that's what I see in person. I don't think I like the formula of this one as much as I like Lux, but it's still really special and pretty. This next Cleona one is called Halo, and I think this one is more of like a red. Yeah, you can definitely see that right away. Wow. Yeah, this one's also less of like a sparkly formula. It's more like a reflecting kind of shadow, but it's still really pretty. Like it makes me less excited to put it all over my lids than the sparkly ones, but it's still really pretty. Next Cleona shadow is Phosphorescent. That's pretty. I think with all these Cleona ones too, like there definitely was like a research period where I decided to get these over other iridescent ones in their line, like for a reason. But then by the time I got them, I couldn't remember the reason. And then I was too moved on to the next thing or overwhelmed or something to like rediscover the reason. That one's really special. That one has like way more of like a grass green in it than any of the other ones we've swatched so far. And then it looks kind of like, like a pinkish purple in my eye. That's really pretty. Wow. And then the last Cleona one down here, it doesn't look as sparkly either. This one is Reflectance. This one I think I did use a little bit more and I respect it. Yeah, this one's more of like a, like it's more subtle because it's not so sparkly that it just kind of like moves into the light. So it's definitely a different kind of shadow. Again, less excited to use it all over my eye, but I think even like, like this above the inner third of the eye would be really cool. Or even like a brow bone highlight because it's not too sparkly. It might not look that ridiculous. Okay, so these down here are a little bit of a showdown because I know all of these have like a pink reflect to them. So first, let's start out with Pearl. This one, when I got it, it was kind of like smashed and I had corresponded with the owner and she was going to send me one, like new ones. And then like, I never got them. And then she was like, Hey, do you get them? And then I was like, no. And then like, she stopped responding. And then I just like gave up and like smushes back into the pan. So um, that's my story, but it still works, but it does like look kind of ugly to me. This one's not sparkly either. And we're going to swatch the other two pinky ones first, but it's on the chopping block. This next one, this is ACI 10 from Adept. It was from the original Plain Jane palette. That one looks like a hotter pink reflect. Yeah, and I like what that one does over Pearl. I feel like Pearl has like the slightest pink reflect 
And this, like, it's not so in your face either, but it has, like, a little bit more sparkle, a little bit more to it. So I think I'm definitely going to say I'm decluttering Pearl from Menagerie. Then the last one in those pinky showdown is the shade Junko. I use this in my February random palette, and that's where I learned that it, like, has some pink to it. But it's nice. It is, like, more of, more of a subtle pink as well. But I think it has more sparkle than that Pearl did. It even looks, like, a little bit greenish on camera like a little bit taupe too not my favorite it's possible that even like in the future if i'm more cutthroat and i declutter again this one will go but it's going to survive this round look at the beauty of this hand like whenever i do these i'm just like i can't believe i own all of these it's like why am i bothering looking at other things that i want when i own all of this i can use it whenever i want all right, so let's get into some of these regular shimmers. I know a lot of these are shades that I really love also, so I don't want to sell them short. It's just like a different experience than those iridescent ones. So this one down here, I think this is a Glaminatrix. Yep, this is Cloud9 from Glaminatrix. This one, I don't know a lot about, but I do know they call it a duochrome. So I guess we'll find out. This one feels like a sparkly one, but like more of a sheer formula. That's interesting. I like it. It feels like... Yeah, like yellow and bronze. This one looks so amazing in the pan. Oh, this is Meteorite from Terra Moons. This one I drew out when I was making my random palette in January, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> so hopefully I draw that again sometime because I'd like to use it. Really pretty, really like nice sparkle. Oh, this one I'm excited for. This is Animal Kingdom from Menagerie. This came out at their summer singles launch last year. I think it was one of like their auroras i think they were calling them or chameleons i can never keep up maybe they were aurora chameleons that's really pretty i really want to use that all over my eye soon i feel like um like it's goldish but it has something taupe to it also i really like the tone this one up here is reserve number seven from shine by sd it was part of my first purchase from them and it's just like all sparkle it's so sparkly really pretty it definitely looks like the most reflective out of any of these like less iridescent ones that we've swatched before so pretty this one up here is nectar from luxi i feel like i never see this one or like if i see it in my single shadows i just like don't recognize her i like her i'm excited that's really pretty it's kind of like a little bit more of like a toned down version of that shine by sd one but only toned down because that shine by sd one is so cranked up like this is really pretty also does not look like a three dollar shadow all right and in the spirit of wanting to swatch these less shiny ones right next to some really shiny ones i'm gonna swatch these four so this is the more champagne -y one then we have the more gold one. Then we have, I think this is called Snake Eyes from ColourPop. I'm kind of emotionally attached to it, but I'm trying to not be. And then that Cleona Circle Pan. Okay, so Champagne, more goldy one, Snake Eyes, Cleona one. None of those are bad, but I think the thing is, because I have these and I'm so excited to use these and I feel like I don't use them enough and I also have so many exciting shimmers in other colors that sometimes even the neutrals get to be like last call. I'm going to keep the champagne one and declutter the other three. I just want to keep the champagne one because it would work for like an inner corner or something like that. And then also I do have some of those like ColourPop little mini palettes. In my cherry palette, I recently decluttered the shimmers and like I would be happy to like stick that in. So yeah, I'm decluttering those three. Well, wow, that looks like it made a huge difference. Okay, and then let's get into these last four. This is, ooh, cookie dough from Luxy. I'm so excited for her. So pretty. It's just like a really nice sparkle. I feel like there's not too much to it, but that's kind of like the magic of her. She's just really pretty, really sparkly. Next one I think is also from Luxy. Yep, this is Salted Caramel. It was also in like the same ice cream shop or something like that kind of line. I'd say this one's a little bit more taupe and that first one looks like a little bit more bluish, but I really like both of them, really similar formula. And then we have two left. This one is Celine from Terra Moons. I think of it as kind of like, just like the lighter, counterpart to meteorite like a really pretty shimmer without too much of a reflect 
really pretty. Something about the tones, like I like those two Luxie ones more, but this one's still a really nice formula. And then this final one is Pancake Bubbles from Davina. I couldn't recognize it in the pan, and I was hoping it was something good, and it is something good. It's like a super nice, basic shimmer. That's all of the iridescent and light, shimmery glory. I'm really happy with how it worked out that, like, just by eliminating five from this palette, I can really tell that this palette is full of shadows that I love and I'm excited to get use out of. And just, like, the smallest difference makes a really big difference. Like this feels a lot more approachable and I can and I will get to know these shadows better now that I've done this and I know that they're all really gorgeous and good. Yay! <laughs> I'm just excited for you that you got to see all that because I was happy to live all that. And now we have this beautiful palette left. Looked way better on my hand, I gotta say, but it's still pretty beautiful here. On my eyes today, on my lid, I'm wearing Phosphorescent from Cleona with just, you know, a couple colorful mattes, as you can tell. And then on my lower lash line, I have Marama from Divina. And it's interesting because I did put a blue on the outer, but I didn't extend that blue in. And Marama looks so bright blue on my lower lash line. Oh, and then my inner corner is that ACI 10, the Adept one from the Plain Jane palette. So yeah, I got a couple of them on my eyes. And they're all going to be on my eyes eventually because I'm so excited about them. That's everything for today. If you enjoyed this, please give me a like and subscribe. There are a lot of these swatch parties already on my channel and there's a few more to come. We're getting kind of near the end of the whole collection. But yeah, we're going to have an exciting series finale coming up pretty soon. So I would love if you stick around. Thank you so much for watching today. And that's everything. Bye.